Magazine's South by Southwest coverage brought to you by Red Touch Media. All right, we're here with Jeremy Blum, and uh, he's uh, you're, you're basically in the process of writing the book. Yeah. And uh, how, how far out, how soon will it actually be out there? I'm um, about 75% done. Draft should be done in April. Expect to see the book out at the end of summer sometime. Okay. What's uh, what's it about? Well, first of all, what you are a electrical engineer, or yeah, what's what's your uh, full title? So I'm an electrical and computer engineer. I'm actually still doing my master's at Cornell University. Okay. Um, but I do all kinds of stuff, consulting work. I've designed electronics for MakerBot, 3D printers, for example. I do robotics. I'm all over the place. Okay. And and your book is actually going to be on. Arduino. Yes. That's I, I always say it was Arduino or something like that or Juno or so, you know something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's Arduino, right. and that's what your book's about, right? Yeah. So the book's on Arduino. It's supposed to be kind of like an introduction to electrical engineering and computer science using Arduino. Um, so the idea is anyone who wants to build something, wants to make something exciting and cool. Um, how do you kind of learn the basics of electrical engineering and computer science without necessarily having an engineering degree or with an engineering degree okay. and use the Arduino as a platform to build and prototype quickly? So uh, why don't you give us an example of, uh, of, of how that would work for somebody out there? Okay, so I mean, there's a couple examples depending on like what your existing level of expertise is. Yeah. Uh, and the book is structured such that depending on where you're kind of coming from, you can choose to do or not do certain parts of the book. And it's all examples and you kind of follow along hands on. Um, but it's structured around examples and then building examples that you can then build upon to make your own stuff. So okay. one example is, um, let's say you want to make a control system for your room uh, that turns the lights off when you leave and locks your computer automatically when you stand up or something. Okay. Um, so, like one of the chapters is going to cover uh, using an Arduino to send a command to your computer that locks the screen when you, when you stand up and turns the lights off. Okay. Um, or you can be doing things like data logging and figuring out, you know, when are people coming into my room and it can send you an alert or you can get, you, you can generate a log of information or you can control LEDs like Knight Rider style and oh, make yeah. <laughs> cool effects. There's a kind of a whole range of artistic and engineering applications. But you explain it enough to where the where they understand and they go, well, what if I do this and what if I do that? So. Right. So, so the idea behind it is the projects are structured such that I'm giving you an understanding of what's really going into the programming and the electronics of them so that you make an example project that I might have in the book, um, but then the idea is you'll be able to get an understanding from that project of what are the next steps, how do I then evolve this to do specifically what I want to do, whether that's a controller for a quadcopter or an electronic lock for your house or whatever. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty cool because, you know, I, I see, we see technology happening in so many different ways. In fact, I was uh, just at the AMD uh, party a couple nights ago, and they were trying to show how modding is still back in, in yeah. play and uh, using smaller computers, redoing your computers, fixing your, uh, you know, Reboarding, boarding the computers and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, a friend of mine, Ben Heckendorn, did a lot of the mods. I there. know Ben Heck. We're, ben Heck and I are both um, featured content producers by Element 14, and so I make oh, okay. I make videos for Element 14, showcasing Arduino and electronics, and and Ben does also also does videos for Element 14. And he lives about 10 miles away from me, so oh, <laughs> there there's yeah. there's the connection there right there. Go. Tell him I say hi. You know, all this great Geekazine South by Southwest coverage would not be possible if it wasn't for our friends over at Red Touch Media. And did you know that Red Touch Media also serves 2 billion files to every month to a global network of retail kiosks, store portals, and mobile uh, solutions for a variety of clients, including Sony Pictures, Warner Music, and Paramount, and Disney. Now, if you're a maker of movies, musician, or whatnot, or you just like to watch movies or like to listen to music, check everything out over at redtouchmedia.com forward slash geekazine, where you can also get 20% off by using that code geekazine20. So check it out over at redtouchmedia.com forward slash geekazine, and remember that code, geekazine20. You know, what do you think? How do you think of South by Southwest? Is it your so, first one? Yeah, so this is my first South by Southwest. It is a ton of fun. I am insanely exhausted. I think I've been up until 4 a.m. every night. Um, and it's totally worth it. You can probably hear I'm losing my voice. Wait a minute. What do you, what do you drink? You're a nerd. You don't drink? No, no. No alcohol for me. 
Absolutely not. Not at all. No. 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 There's no. It's, this place is dry. Yeah, it's, no. There's actually no alcohol in Austin. I haven't been able to find any alcohol during. It's, it's prohibition in Austin. Yeah. So what? Uh, let, let's let's turn the tables a little bit. What books did you read to get uh, to get the inspiration read. for the Arduino? So. I actually think the majority of my inspiration and part of the reason why I think the Arduino is so cool hasn't come from books, it's come from just the community on the web. Um, and so, have, you know, I'm a featured partner on YouTube. I, I make a lot of videos about engineering, electronics, and Arduino. And um, one of the requests I get very frequently actually is, you know, I love your Arduino tutorial videos, but I wish I had like a book. Can you recommend one? And uh, I'm like, Hmm, okay. They will come. Well, you know, hold off a little while. Maybe there'll be something coming out from me in the near future. And it's there's Arduino books out there, but they're they're um they're like uh, instructions for cooking, cooking or baking, right? Where you, you have a recipe, yeah. And you know, you follow steps and you make something, but you make a specific thing and you don't really understand how it works. Okay. Um, and what my objective is with this book is to fill that void and make it not just a recipe book, but to actually be like teaching you so that when you come out of it, yes, you've made some projects that I use as examples in the book, but you have a higher level understanding so you can make your own stuff and do whatever you want with it. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, how do people get a hold of you? It sounds like you got a you got a pretty good uh, a group there on YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all over the place. I mean, if you Google Jeremy Blum, I'll come up all over the place. But uh, on Twitter, I'm at SciGuy14, S-C-I-G-U-Y-1-4. Same handle on YouTube. Okay, there you go. If you have any questions on Arduino, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting used to that because I know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be tested on this. Everyone's later, so. gonna know it eventually, so it's you got to learn how to say it. Arduino. Yeah. Art, art of wine, Arduino, <laughs> or so, uh, anyway, we're, well, we we drink, but you know the place is dry, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. But we do have a lot more video over at South by Southwest. Once again, thanks a lot to Jeremy for sitting down with me and learning a little bit about the book. And the book comes out uh, should be end of summer. End of summer, so yes. check it out if you're into Arduino. Thanks. It's kind of like spaghetti. <laughs> I want I want a side of Arduino. <laughs> <laughs> you should go into a restaurant and actually do that. Can I can I get some Arduino, please? 